everyone, it's Christine from American Root Flower Farm. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing today, but I'm gonna be doing something, because it's nice out. It's about 65 degrees right now uh, in Oakdale, California, zone 9B. And uh, guess what, I'm wearing a bra today. If you haven't noticed, I don't wear bras ever. Uh, I haven't wore a real bra in probably over four years. Um, personal reasons, I, uh, I don't like, we won't get into it, but uh, women's rights. That's, that's, that's where it begins. So, um, yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to be doing today, but I will be doing something out here because it's so nice out. Um, I want to take down this ugly frame that we have up. Um, we use that in the winter time to, um, to frost protect, even though it never really got cold enough and all of that is cold tolerant and I don't, we didn't lose anything. And so, um, I do want to get that down. Um, that's going to be Ona's job because baby's playing with the, with the camera stand. Thank you, baby. And um, that's gonna be Ona's job. He put it up. Um, I don't do stuff like that. <laughs> um, but I have a couple ideas. Um, I think I have some bee balm that I don't like where it's at because it's a heavy traffic area and it, it because it does get a lot of bees. Um, I don't like um, my kids having to walk through that area. I don't like to get stung by bees. <laughs> In fact, I freak out at um, when bees come near me. I'm sure you'll see that someday, probably many times. Um, but yeah, I want to move the bee balm. Um, Ona does perennials. He, he likes the perennials, so he'll probably move it in the front yard or I'll move it to the back behind the summer beds. Um, but I want to get that out of the ground and uh, I want to clear up that space because there was something I wanted to put there and now I can't remember what it was. Oh, yarrow. Yarrow, I wanted to put in some more yarrow uh, starts that I have that I bought locally um, what, a couple weeks ago. I said there's bees everywhere right now. So this is the bee balm. And it's just spread like wildfire too. And so, yeah, I want to get that out of there and save a majority of it for Ona so he can uh, do what he will with it. right there it's a healthy one it's huge all right so i got the big old the bee balm um bergamot whatever it is um i mean look how big it is that thing started as a four inch plant uh this is my try to get away from this shadow um this is a soil you know when we first um we first moved here there was no plants at all there was grass but zero plants and so we planted all of this Everything back here we've planted over the last three years. Four years, three years, four years, I think maybe. But, um, and this was all rocky. You see all those little pebbles? There's tiny pebbles because this was all, this was all tiny pebbles. And um, I've added a uh, potting soil, potting mix, whatever to it over the last few years. Um, so I'm gonna add my, my potting mix that I make uh, the kids ruined it. They added water to it. And so, um, I've got to get it used up because it's not, it's not looking so hot anymore. So, um, I'm going to throw that in there. So I have these two, uh, yarrow starts, uh, flower burst red yarrow. And then the other one is also the same. Um, I have to have a bee balm that's right below the camera stand and I'm going to pull that guy out too. And, uh, and then put one there, one right below. And then one in that spot right there. That spot's probably like, I don't know, maybe like, 24 inches, 20 inches. Ooh, that sunrise. Daylight's burning my eyes. Look what I just found. Some um, ornamental oregano. Greek oregano. Ooh, I must have left it out here on the gardening table and then uh, blew off. Uh, the seeds still look pretty good, so I'm gonna keep that and plant that soon. Well, first I'm gonna look up to see when to plant it and uh, make sure it's okay to plant it right now because I want it to survive. 
It's dark outside and it's time for bed But you lay awake all night instead Well maybe just for an hour or two I get to spend some time with you I'll share a cup of All right, I found a nasty grub. Um, I didn't put the beneficial nematodes in this area, so I'm definitely gonna order some more and get them over here uh, right now. When I find these guys, I yield to my chickens at Grubhub and uh, they go running for them. So uh, let's do that. I also found what looks to be a gladiolus um, bulb, so I'm gonna put that back in there. Speaking of gladioluses, glads, um, I still have to, um, I haven't followed through with my planting every two weeks on those, and so it's probably been uh, close to a month since I planted those, um, but I have a bag full in the house, so uh, I gotta find spots for those. In case you missed it in a past video, uh, I make my own potting soil, potting mix. I use horticultural charcoal. I use uh, perlite. I use um, compost and perlite. Wait, no, I already said perlite. And uh, coconut choir. And so um, kids ruined my batch because uh, they got it wet. And so I have to hurry up and use it. I already said that. Okay, so I just remembered that um, I have these basils that I bought at grocery outlet bargain market um and uh last year I did the same thing I bought these when they had them they're only $1.99 and uh they're uh great starts they get they give me a great uh head start on some basil I love basil I love it to eat it I love to smell it and it's my favorite for case not even with the flour on it just the just the um the foliage Okay, so look at how root bound this is. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tear off, I'm gonna tear off the bottom of it and let those roots get started like this, it's kinda dry. And that should give it a nice good start. And then I'm gonna throw this back into, um, into the soil. In the morning Uh, I don't say it often in um, in my longer videos, but um, like and subscribe. It encourages me to keep making more videos. If people aren't liking them, then why am I even doing it? Um, besides uh, maybe keeping track of um, having a video log of uh, what I do throughout the year. But um, if you like it, uh, like and subscribe. And uh... Okay, I'm gonna close out this video. Um, I've got a boy that went caca in the potty for the first time, so we gotta celebrate. Um, and uh, remember my flora friends, keep your hands dirty. Uh, make sure you wash them afterwards because there is uh, bacteria that you don't want in your body it will cause infections. Um, and uh, I also have to check the flower stand because I've seen my uh, my uh, trips in and out of the house uh, about three times in the last hour. Um, I've seen people at the flower stand, so I need to go clear. I need to go um, get the money out of the jar. So um, in case anybody feels like being uh, not so honest, so. Um, all right, like I said, keep your hands dirty, my flower friends.